When the pandemic started, many people could not pay their rent, so the government stepped in with programs, benefits, and loans. But one group of people says something mental health is actually hurting them. WFMY News 2's Adoria Chumba spoke to one landlord who is frustrated with the eviction moratorium. I can't sell it, I can't rent it, I can't do anything right now. And it's unjust. This Greensboro landlord who doesn't want his face shown for fear of reprisal said his tenant owes him seven months back rent and refuses to pay. He said the tenant bet all hopes on the HOPE program but was denied due to lack of program funds. Of course, if they're out of money, they can't pay me. But weeks later, he said a HOPE program agent called to say a check was in the mail. And I'm standing here today, the 23rd of, of April, and we have no money. Tired of waiting, a judge gave the sheriff's office the authority to remove the tenant on April 13th. But since the federal eviction moratorium was extended till June 30, the sheriff's office can't honor it. Here I am trying to provide a home to somebody who needs it. And they have used the system not to pay anything and to stay there indefinitely. It's very frustrating and it's very unjust. This is not justice. Now the landlord says with bills he can pay piling up, he wants out. Well, I would prefer to sell this house and get out of this business because it's just not worth it anymore. Not anymore. And we reached out to the North Carolina Department of Public Safety, which oversees the HOPE program. An official says they're looking into the matter. In Greensboro, Adoria Trumba, WFMY News 2.